So today's video is a bit of a different one. I actually have my sister Heather with me here today. She currently doesn't own a Peloton, but she's mm -hmm. interested in getting one for herself. So we're gonna do a walkthrough on the bike and the features and any first initial questions that she may have about it. I'm sure that if you're in the market for a Peloton or an alternative indoor spin bike option, you may have some similar overlapping questions. Peloton offers two bike model options. They have the Bike Plus with a retail price of $24.95. This upgraded bike has a swivel screen, a larger display, and better quality speakers. In contrast, the original bike is priced at $14.95, $1,000 less than the Bike Plus price. This bike is on sale from its original $18.95 price, and in fact, when I purchased my original Peloton bike a year and a half ago, that retail price was $22.45, so they've definitely dropped the price quite a bit. So as you may know, the Peloton requires spin shoes, and I do have a few options for her to try out. Spin shoes on Amazon can range in price from $60 all the way up to $120. The Peloton branded spin shoes retail for $125 and also include the Look Delta cleats. I've tried various brands of spin shoes and there's not one that I specifically gravitate towards so I wouldn't worry about being too brand specific when shopping for spin shoes. Before we get any further in today's video, I just wanted to mention one product that I've been loving. These are gel nail polishes from the brand Nail Addict. What makes these polishes different from other ones currently on the market is that these are vegan, nine free and cruelty free. These nail polishes don't have an unpleasant smell. They have a variety of colors on their site and they're also very easy to apply. These are the following steps I used to apply the polish. First, I dried out my nails using a pH bond. Next, I applied one layer of a foundation base coat and cured it under the lamp for one minute. I'm using this UV LED nail lamp that I purchased from Amazon. The next step is to apply the nail addict color. You want to cure it for two minutes between each coat. For the last step, I'm going to apply this top coat and cure it for two minutes. If properly applied, for me, these gel nails last for up to two weeks. If you'd like to try any of these products out for yourself, the code Christina Marie will get you 50% off a minimum of two products on their site. Now we're gonna select a workout. We can also sort it based on instructor. I highly recommend Cody Rigsby. So today she's going to try his 20 minute groove ride. Here 100. As we move forward, we're going to connect that on. And that's what life is about having a good ass time. Also joining us today is Heather's dog, Muji. He's a one and a half year old mini English cream dashund. He has his own Instagram and YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out if you're interested. So I just finished a 20 minute groove ride with Cody Rigsby. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was awesome. It was only 20 minutes, but I sweat so much. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it was definitely a full body workout with just a spin class. Really enjoyed it. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so I'm gonna go over my top three pros of this overall workout and Peloton. And I would say the number one is the instructor, Cody Rigsby. Oh my gosh, he has so much energy, you guys. Like, it's unreal. Number two, this is kind of something I really love, but then also kind of, I can see the con of it. And that is, there is no way to stop a workout once you've started it. That really incentivized me to finish the entire 20 minutes as I was starting to get tired, like maybe 10 minutes, 11 minutes in. Yeah, I can hold him. <laughs> you wanna hold him? Sure. <laughs> All right, so the last pro of the Peloton, I would say, 
it's just the content and the music. So I love the music selection. It was so energizing. I really enjoyed the entire ride. Um, and yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite cycling classes I've ever been on. If you've seen my previous videos, you may know that I have raved about Cody Rigsby numerous times. Currently, he's featured on Dancing with the Stars, one of the contestants. So I'm really glad my sister was able to try his rides. I recommend him to everyone. So those are Heather's top three pros for the Peloton. I guess most of those pros center around the music and the instructors. So now let's go on to her top three cons. So the number one con I would have for the Peloton is honestly just the price of the bike and the subscription, meaning that I would really have to use this bike very often to ensure I'm really getting the full value um, of the Peloton bike. So I quickly want to interject with one thing. So if you own the bike, it is a $39 per month subscription fee. However, if you don't own the bike, you only have to pay $12.99 per month for access to the app. And that is one of the gripes of Peloton owners is that why would you pay the $39 per month subscription fee when if you use the app, it's only $12.99 a month. All right, now time to share my second con and that is just the physical size of it. Like this bike is almost the height of me. Um, I'm five foot three, five foot four ish. And this is not something you can just tuck under your bed. So it is definitely something to consider if you're in a market to purchase a cycling bike or a Peloton. In terms of at home cardio equipment, I would say this bike is quite compact. It has dimensions of two feet by four feet. And while it's not like a foldable treadmill that will tuck away under your bed, this bike is something that you will be seeing almost daily if you do have it set up in your home. All right, so my third and final con is just that you have to wear cycling shoes. So that is an added cost. Um, and especially if you have multiple pairs of shoes, it does tend to add up. So that con is actually quite valid because I'm not sure the wear and tear of spin shoes. I suppose it would depend on how often and how rough you are with your spin shoes. And you also have to factor in the added cost of installing cleats to your spin shoes, which is about $15. There is a new product on the market. If you wanted to switch out your Peloton pedals, you could install some clipless toe cages in which you can use sneakers for the bike instead of spin shoes. I actually have a video on these Mark clipless toe cages if you're interested in seeing it. So I'll link it in the cards for you. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any additional questions or thoughts. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.